right guys, today uh, I just want to show you about shrinking and stretching. There's a few different types of machines around and um, from the basics back to, you know, when I used to do it using pliers and things like that in my early, early, early days when I was uh, shaping bits of metal and wasn't quite sure, I didn't have the shrink and stretcher so I made a three pronged pair of pliers like that and what you can do with that is you've got yourself your straight piece of metal and in that regard it would just create a little pucker and then every second one you just go in between and then basically that would create the little puckers that come up and give you the shape to go around the bottom of say the bottom of a door or the, the door might need a bit of a hook in it um, there are ways of actually getting a bit of a bend in your panel if you've got it on a sandbag you can actually just hit the edge of your panel in the sandbag and it will absorb the shape and it will give you a bit of a hook um, if you haven't got a three prong pair of pliers, you can use a pair of multi grips. And then, in, in that regard, what you do is you bend one side up, one side down, and just keep moving along. One side up, one side down. It just gives you a pucker. Now, if in a hidden spot underneath a underneath a panel, you don't really see it. You can get the shape in there, and then you can dress out your your, uh, your little puckers, or it'll, it'll just sort of keep the shape anyway. Um, now, if you've got access, or you go out and buy yourself a couple of different types of, or we've got a couple of different types of uh, shrinkers here. So, this is the old one that served me well for many years. It's, uh, this is actually stretching, it's got the stretching head on there. So, you put the panel in there, and you push that, and it just stretches it out just that little bit which gives you your little bit of a stretch on that side or on the other hand you can shrink it now actually I've got, I've got stretching heads on that one as well so we jump from this little hand operated job onto a foot operated stretcher as well and same deal you just got a little bit more throat here whereas this one here's only got about 25 mil for doing good for the edges and stuff but this one gives you a little bit more purchase for doing inside a inside a compound curve and uh, giving you a bit of depth so the same deal this one here you just push that it gives you it just uh, accentuates it a lot more and gives a nice even nice even uh, stretch all right so the idea of compound curves sometimes you might want to make the shape of a panel in, uh, or, or get a copy of a, of, of a profile. So you can actually use these to get a compound curve. So you use it that direction, then you turn it sideways and you use it the other way. It gives you the whole different profile. But this can also be for an inner, inner edge of a mudguard or something like that, you might need to you know, create something like that, but that can be good as a pattern. Um, it sort of gives you a three dimensional pattern. I use it for doing big panels, or sometimes just to follow this, you can, you can buy yourself um, some, um, some not needle gauges or shaping gauges and things like that, but in this regard, you can still get a full compound curve, fairly accurate using this, uh, this technique. Um, particularly on something like a compound curve there and we jump over here onto the echo hold and it's air operated this particular one it's just sort of for one man show and then it's pulls it around as you go and that really accentuates your compound curve when I've just I folded this over on the wheeling machine after I've shaped it fold the edge over now I can actually pull that around into almost a half circle. You won't get the full circle because you won't be able to get around the whole side of the of the, uh, of the shrinker anyway. So there's your compound curve sort of coming around the more. Now I can do that on that one and then I can go back here and then straighten out the, the centre of it and we can see what happens. This is just a little piece of aluminium I've got. So then that becomes yeah, a bit of a little trailer mudguard or something similar. Anyway, as you as you change the shape, 
as you straighten it out, you end up getting more shape in it. So they all do different things. If I was to pull this around more and more, you'd find that that compound curve would flatten itself out quite some. So uh, yeah, just things like that. Just little tips and tricks on shrinking and stretching. Hope you liked it. Thanks. See ya.